Okay, today we'll be opening up this new Fram Synthetic Endurance Oil Filter, number FE8A, that just recently came out. And I got this new Fram Oil Filter at Walmart for $12.97. And we'll be comparing it to this older Fram Ultra Synthetic Oil Filter, number XG8A, that I bought a few years ago. Both these filters fit my 97 Ford Explorer. Yep, the one with the 4.0 liter V6 engine. So I'm very interested to see how well this new Fram oil filter is made. So let's get started. This is the network. You got a really good silicone. Be nice and tight. Get your hand out here. Filtration. Okay, let's start with the older Fram and we'll start with the box. This filter was rated for 15,000 miles. And if we look over here, it's two ply synthetic metal screen reinforced 99% plus and that's at 20 microns I'll show you that in a minute silicone Adrian back valve and right here for particles greater than 20 microns okay and that's about all the important information on this box so let's open this box up and see what it looks like and this filter has a sticker there's no date code on this filter but you can get roughly where it's when it was made it says 2012 here Made in USA. Get the sure grip here. And this filter has eight inlet holes. And that looks to be a silicone A drain back valve. Metal core with holes. Bypass valve down below. About four grooves there for threads. And nitro rubber gasket. Which is on here pretty good. A little bit on the thin side maybe. Okay, now let's look at the new frame. New frame synthetic endurance. High flow synthetic filter. Textured grip. No stick gasket. Perfect seal, no stick gasket. Heavy duty base plate. Full synthetic media. They got a nice picture here of it. Just freeze it here for a second if you want. Because I'm not going to read all this stuff. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. And the date code, 23018Y, product of USA. And this also has a sticker. High flow synthetic oil filter. And this filter has six inlet holes. So that looks to be a silicone ink drain back valve. Metal core with louvers on this one. Bypass valve down below. And also about... Four grooves there for threads if it focuses it in. And this is their perfect seal gasket, which I had a hard time taking it off. Here it is. Yes, yeah, gaskets on there pretty good. It looks about the same thickness. We'll check them out later. Okay. Now they both stick out about the same. Yeah, base plates look a little different. Alright, let's uh Let's compare these two. I wanted to compare these two to see if they made this one similar to the old Fram Ultra. All right, let's open these filters up and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open. Let's get their weights. The Endurance weighs 513.5 grams. The Ultra weighs 502.1 gram. Let's take a look at these gaskets. And the Endurance is a little bit thicker on the left. I don't know why they say it's a non-stick gasket. It looks like uh, nitro rubber to me, but uh, they both look good. Okay, base plates. The Ultra weighs 166 grams. The Endurance weighs 181.1 gram. Let's take a look at them up close. You can see the inlet holes are a little bit bigger, though you got less on the Endurance, but they're bigger. So it probably equals out. Same amount of threads. Yeah, base plates look fine. And yeah, both got silicone and drain back valves. To cover up the holes. No problem there. Hey, filter element. Yeah, that one came out hard. That's the Ultra. 214.4 grams. And the Endurance. 
158.4 grams. Let's take a look at the endurance. We got a seam right here. It's like crimped. See it in there? Reminds me of the Royal Purple filters are like this. Anyways, I counted 36 pleats. You can tell that it's got a screen backing behind this. It's really, it looks really thick. And this is a synthetic microglass media, but I don't know the micron rating. They don't have it on the box, and they don't have this filter listed on Fram's website. Metal end caps. Yeah, so that looks good. And Fram Ultra. Fram Ultra has a metal crib seam right here. And the Fram has one extra pleat, 37 pleats. And this is a full synthetic media, two ply media, with a micron rating of 99% for particles above 20 microns. We've got metal end caps. It's got these little guys to keep it centered in the can. Okay. And the Fram Ultra. Oh, over here. Stamp leaf spring. And the Endurance has a humongous stamp leaf spring. I'm guessing these have the same bypass valve setting. Um, the Ultra is 12 PSI. So they're probably both the same. I don't know what this is like. It looks like somebody hit it with some blue ink. I was already on there. Okay, in the cans. The Ultra weighs 97.2 grams. The Endurance weighs 148.8 grams. Let's get their measurements. So the thickness, I'll get about 0 0.60. Pretty thick can, 0 0.60. And the Fram Ultra, I was getting about 0.43. Yeah, about point, 0.43 right there. A little bit thinner. And the width. Width on the Endurance is 3.61 inches wide. And the Fram Ultra, 3.54 inches wide. Okay, let's, uh, let's cut these filters open. Curious to see what they look like under a microscope. Stretch them out and uh, see how much filter media we got. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. And the Fram Endurance filter is 49 and a half inches long. And the Fram Ultra is 62 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. This is the Fram Endurance. 0 0.90 millimeters thick. Or 0.89 millimeters thick. Close enough. And it's the Fram Ultra. Fram Ultra is really thick. 1.32 millimeters thick. Let's take a look at these guys up close. Okay, so this is the filtering side. Back side. And let's take a look at these guys under a microscope. So both filters look like they do a good job of filtering. Um, this Fram Ultra though is a lot thicker than this Endurance filter. And you get about 20 more square inches of filter media with this Ultra. You'll see at the end that this Ultra weighs almost twice as much as the Endurance filter. And they both come with these wire, wire backings. Wire screen backing. They bend, they hold the shape. Just different colors here, that's all. One's shinier, one's a duller looking. These are both strong, these are wicked strong. And um, 
it's the crimp seam. And let's take a look at the rest of the filter. So the gaskets, I, I give them pretty much a tie. I don't know, this this one's a little thicker, but a little wider, but that's pretty close. Base plates too. You know, one's got bigger holes. One's got more holes. One's got inlet holes. One's got bigger inlet holes. So that's tie too also. Silicone and drain back valves. Uh, this one, I guess I'd have to give to the endurance <laughs> just because it's bigger. And the can I would give to the Endurance. It's a thicker can. Now these guys, you got holes versus louvers. They could use a little more holes here, though, on this one. I don't know why they didn't put that many holes there. And the louvers here. Let's take a look at these louvers. And you can see they're all opened up pretty good. Yeah, those are fine. And they both have all this wire backing on them. So they're they're kind of equal in some ways, but the filter midi I got to give to the Ultra. I really don't see any improvements with this filter than with the old Ultra filter. I think the name Endurance is just another gimmick. What do you guys think about these two filters? And with that being said, I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget, Oil Filter Fridays. I try to open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Endurance Filter Media weighs 18.3 grams. The Ultra Filter Media weighs 33.4 grams.